Guys, Stiff here with a Madden Ultimate Team Solo Challenge tip for you guys. This is going to be a four-part series, this being part one. Make sure you guys leave a like. If I get 100 likes, I will release the other three parts this, these coming weeks. The reason why I say that is just because I want to see how many Mutt fans we actually have. If it's not going to be worth me posting it, then if you guys don't care about me posting these tips, then I really won't post them. But anyway, basically what this is going to be about is uh, how to complete every single solo challenge in 10 minutes or less. Now, it's not every single solo challenge, but each individual solo challenge in 10 minutes or less. Some were going to be before 10 minutes. And if you get to the elite challenges, those, those are 5 minute ones. But uh, those could be maybe a little over, maybe 11, 12 minutes. But the majority of the solo challenges you're going to be completing are 4 minute ones. And... I was waiting to do this a uh, tip video for you guys because I wanted to complete all the solo challenges just to show you guys I got the whole training camp done I got regular season done elite done uh, weekly there's two but the weeklies come out every week and I just didn't get to do the extra two today I got all the style challenge ones done uh, two more NFL legacies I'm almost done with those those you can only get with the NFL head-to-head -head, uh, things so haven't gotten any of the mysteries and then you know the master which I'm ultimately striving for but anyway this is basically uh, just how to complete all these I completed these in three weeks maybe two and a half weeks I completed all of these the majority of your time gonna be in regular season which are three minute quarters uh, progresses from rookie to all pro to Madden or all pro to then all Madden I believe or just elites all Madden I'm not sure about that but anyway the first part is just going to be the regular the setup that you guys have to go through uh, in order to complete these within under 10 minutes and also just a couple players on the offensive side of the ball. In part two, if, if we elect to go part two, i um, just going to show the offensive side, a money play on the offside that I just, on the off, off, offensive side of the ball that I like to run and then part three would be the defensive side of the ball and then part four would just be a whole a single game that I would show you me running uh, the schemes that I've put together and then hopefully uh, it will definitely be uh, under 10 minutes so let's get into it let's start off with um, people to buy so let's go into this auction block right here I have a couple of people it's basically you're basically gonna be running the ball the whole time just milking down the clock with certain settings you can milk down the clock so let's get into the first person, let's start from left tackle and move our way over to the right tackle. So first pers uh, person that, and this is all budget, this is all in between 4,000 coins and 10,000 coins. Let me just remind you guys, so it's not going to be a uh, breaking the bank type of deal. So the first person is going to be Will be he's on the Giants. Uh, I like to use this search feature because it put, puts them up pretty well. So right there you have Will Beattie. Just do it by buy it now, right now. He's going for like 200 coins right now. Reason why I say him, he's a 68 overall, but he's got 90 impact blocking and 88 um, uh, run block. So you're going to really focus on run blocking with these guys. Let's go to the next guy. Uh, let's see, David Yankee. He's on, he's the left guard. So the other guy was left tackle. This guy's left guard for the Vikings. And I try and get ground and pound because it gives a boost in blocking. I, I do believe that style does help in this year. So Yankee right here, buy it now price, 900 coins, not a lot. Uh, he has, he's a 69 overall, 88 impact blocking, 84 uh, run blocking. Let's go to our center, uh, Marcus Martin. Let's go to Marcus. MM. I'm doing a live comp too. This. Marcus Martin right here. That's him. He's 67 overall, but he like he's only up for 180 coins, maybe 350 coins. This is on Xbox One. Uh, I'm sure you'll find the same elsewhere. Uh, now Marcus Martin, 67 overall, 83 uh, impact block, 85 run block. 
Uh, okay, so let's go to Adam Snyder. He's going to be our right guard. Go Andrew Snyder, 700 coins, not a lot, like I said, 74 overall, 80, let's see, 80 impact blocking, 87 run blocking, and then let's go to right tackle, and it's going to be DJ Fluker for the Chargers, I remember him specifically, 900 coins, not a lot, all under 1,000 coins, 76 overall, 85 impact blocking, 89 run blocking now let's go into running backs uh what's his name donald brown i think yeah donald brown let's see donald brown 500 uh coins 75 overall. I picked him because he has 91 carry. He's cheap. He's got 91 speed. And basically, you just want somebody that can carry the ball. This is also for beginners, if you guys haven't noticed, and who doesn't have, who don't have a lot of coins and just want to bust out solo challenges. Because this is exactly what I did. I uh, got, I got a, a, a pretty decent line, and I completed all the solo challenges before I even went into season. And I literally ranked up all the coins i made over a hundred a uh, million coins you can make a, over a million coins and i'll show you guys why um in just a little bit and then tight end is just gonna be ben hart sock tight end 900 coins uh 73 overall 90 impact blocking 89 run blocking and that will total you around 4,000, and depending on what the, uh, what system you're on, it could be 10,000 coins. And so basically, that's the line I want you to get with the tight end and the running back. Um, going back into these solo challenges, it's just, you can make a million coins just by doing the solo challenges, even over a million coins, that's what I did. Uh, right here, you see the training camp. You make 1,000 coins each, and you get a little training camp. So there's 33 of those, so you know you can make 33,000 of those coins right there uh, then if you go into regular season this is where you can make the bulk of your coins you know it goes from 1,000 and then it goes all the way up to uh, 3,000 coins and then each halfway mark you earn a badge you get a one badge right here and then at the end you get another um, you get a seasons pack which has two badges in it and then you get 3,000 coins and the glitch that a lot of people don't know is you can get an elite badge, a gold badge, uh, a silver badge, and a bronze badge. And each one's it's random. You could you could get a, an elite badge or you could get a bronze badge. And if you do all these solo challenges without adding up the badge value, you make like a little over 830k. And then with the badges, I did all these. I got around eight elite badges, a bunch of gold badges, elite. You can make a million coins just based on regular season and then you got solo challenges of the elite status you get 4,000 coins plus you get an elite pack which also has two more badges in it which could range from elite to bronze so basically you can make over a million coins maybe a, a 1.2 million just by doing the solo challenges then you got the styles if you can finish all the styles you get the Luke Keekly and then you get the Paint Manning and then combined is around 250k so you can make a pretty good um, team doing that not even playing one head-to-head -head game and that's exactly what i did that's how i built up my team and then i just run shit on head-to-head -head. <laughs> but anyway let's get into uh what i want you guys to do when you start up a solo challenge this is gonna be the last thing before doing the um the excel clock um just let's just go into a regular season game right here it's going to yeah uh, just hit I, I have to yes because i already played it um if you're ready up, and it's gonna bring you to this screen right here. Just give it some time right here. How you want to set this part up right here is the play call style is gonna be quick. Play clock remaining, put it down to 10 seconds because every time you're on offense and you pick a play, it's gonna go down. It's gonna take the game clock down all the way to 10 seconds left. So you have 10 seconds to hike the ball, and we're just gonna be running it basically the whole time. So it's just going to keep chewing the clock down, chewing the clock down while you're on offense. And 
basically that's how you're going to complete all your games also with the chew clock down but i'll show you the chew clock in, in part two when i go over the offense because it's an in-game feature where when you're doing the play call screen that's when you pick chew clock you can't do it right now but that's going to be the setup right there and also what i want you guys to do is i want you guys to go into the auction block i should have said this earlier but go into the auction block and get the eagles book so let's get the Eagles offensive playbook, I should say. Eagles offensive playbook, and then the Browns defensive playbook. So let me just show you how much that costs on my end. Uh, Eagles offensive playbook. Uh, well, a lot of people like offense. Uh, right now it's going for 2,000 coins here. It, it varies, it fluctuates throughout the time of the day, so I can't really attest to how much that's going to go and then I want you guys to get the Cleveland Browns defensive playbook if you have your own scheme if you have the Vikings ebook defensive ebook that we posted you could use that as well if you're an advanced player then you could also do that this is mainly for new people that are just starting off mutt that don't have a lot of coins they don't, they're not really good at the game and they need to get a lot of coins quickly so they can build up their team um, and then the Browns defense is going for like 350k. I have a, a money play out of the Browns defensive playbook that I just run every single time. Sometimes it comes in, sometimes it doesn't, but it's good enough to get stops against the computer, which let me tell you, the computer is a bitch to play sometimes. He finds reads open that are never, uh, that I would never dream of. But anyway, that's it for this series, guys. This is part one. Make sure you guys hit, a, hit that like button. 100 likes gets the whole rest of the, um... The, the parts that I'm in the the four part series, um, and that's basically it, guys. Put a thumb put a thumbs up, and uh, until next time, guys. Adio.